Welcome back to another NBA video. In this video, we're going to be recapping some of the top stories and news to know around the league right now. So first of all, the Los Angeles Lakers and LeBron James take the first headline as the Lakers are reportedly concerned about LeBron James's ankle injury ahead of the playoffs. Just around last week, he returned from a 20-game absence, but he re-aggravated it and had to leave the game. He's trying to return tomorrow or Wednesday, but according to Woj, he won't be able to get that ankle to 100% and be fully healed until well into the summer when it's the offseason and the playoffs are done. So without him leading the Lakers at full strength, they don't have their guy, the LeBron James, because there's no one like him to lead him. Anthony Davis went off for 42 points last night in a big win over the Suns, but everyone else will have to step up big time with LeBron's ankle still going to be bothering him even though he'll play through it. You can say they have guys that can lead the team like Anthony Davis and then they have other guys that can step up but there is not one player in this league that is like LeBron James his leadership his experience his championship DNA he really just can do it all you can never count out LeBron no matter what age he is what series it is as they came back from 3-1 against the Warriors he just gets it done every single year so having LeBron at not a hundred percent will definitely hurt the Lakers chances at repeating the title big time next we have some terrible news for Celtics fans as Jalen Brown due to a wrist injury is going to be out for the remainder of the season that includes the postseason this is just a brutal loss for the Celtics there's no other way to put it he's had an amazing season so far all-star season scoring around 25 points per game and it'll just make it so much tougher for them to make a good playoff run now the Celtics they've been a bit weird all year just around 500 hovering around that mark for most of the year they've had good games where players like Tatum, Brown, and others are just going off and playing really well. And then they've had games where some of those players can still play well, but they've been losing to teams that they should definitely be able to get wins against. So they've had a weird season, but we know the Boston Celtics. We've seen this, these players do it before in the playoffs. So a lot of people were banking on them getting to the playoffs. And when they're in the playoffs, they're not going to be an easy team to eliminate as these guys have some playoff experience on their team. They're not going to be easy and they're going to give you a tough series and could possibly make a pretty solid playoff run but now without Jalen Brown one of their star players it's just going to be that much tougher so definitely a big blow to the Celtics as they go into the playoffs in about a week here. Next up in the news is a report about Duncan Robinson from Woj going into this offseason as the reports are saying Duncan Robinson could possibly be getting the contract extension worth over $20 million or around $20 million per year, which is just insane. As of right now, him and Carl Mello Anthony are the only players to be averaging 13 plus points per game while shooting 40% plus from three on a minimum contract. So for the money they're paying him, he is an absolute steal, one of the best values in the league right now. And he has a great story as well. Out of high school, he had no D1 offers. He he played D3, transferred to Michigan, went undrafted in 2018, and signed with the Heat, and from there on out, he has been one of the best role players and shooters in the league. With a contending team, he played a big part in their finals run last year, so Duncan Robinson is finally going to have it all pay off and get his bag this offseason. Big payday in store from Duncan Robinson. The last thing to know from today is the Knicks going into this offseason look like they're going to pursue Kyle Lowry as he's set to become a free agent after the Raptors didn't trade him at the trade deadline when many people expected them to do it. The Sixers are very interested. They showed some very interesting trade packages at the deadline. The Lakers were the same as well. And the Knicks, we know, are in the market for a big-time star player to come pair with Julius Randle. This could be Kyle Lowry. We've also heard Damian Lillard trade rumors if he's available and rumors about them pursuing DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry's former teammate in Toronto. He is getting up there in age, but is a very winning veteran player. So the Kyle Lowry sweep stakes are definitely heating up going into the offseason he'll be one of the top free agents of this offseason so let me know what you guys think those were all the news and things to know from the nba in the last couple of days more to come on this channel